I'm Mirangela Roberts, and I um, previously did a master's in research um, with Kess back in 2018. Um, so yeah, it, it seems a long way ago now. And um, since then, I've been um, working in Gwynedd Council, which was my um, partner, the company partner um, for my care studies as well. The title of my um, research was The Challenges and Obstacles Facing Intergenerational Projects. And um, I'd imagine that intergenerational work is um, something that um, a lot of you might have heard of it um, via the TV programmes, but um, not exactly what it is um, from day to day. I was working with Dr. Catherine Hale Jones and Dr. Dr. Lynn Williams, both um, based at Bangor University, and um, I've um, I'm still in contact with both of them, especially Catherine, and I still work with Catherine on various projects. Um, we're currently also. Um, working together on um, Bridging the Generations Network that we established during my year as um, a researcher. And um, we're also trying to um, get my um, research into a research paper for Gwerdon and hopefully as well an intergenerational um, journal. Um, so um, background, um, it, um in it on Esthosi back in 2016, and it was when nurseries in Gwynedd went into local day centres. And um, from there, Dr. Catherine Heath Jones decided that she would like to um, further the research into this field. And I was her second um, master's in research student uh, looking at intergenerational work. Um, the first um, student looked at Heimblant Bach in particular but I looked more at um, how to um, embed intergenerational work in, um, in Gwynedd Council and in the community from day to day, and also the implementation of the work. And this also led into the sustainability of projects as well, because um, what we found was that a lot of intergenerational projects, they were starting, they were going great. Everyone was like, oh, tick, a lovely thing to do. And then they stopped because a lot of people felt that it was a tick in a box and that once they had done it, they had done it and that was it. So we um, started off with a scoping review, looking at current um, work. Um, for myself, scoping review was um, something very new to me. And I was lucky enough that um, Sean Williams, um, the um, reader in Health Science Bangor was able to um, support us with that. But I'm sure um, one thing I found during um, CAS was at times you felt really lonely and felt that you're the only one doing what you're doing, but that's not the case. And we were really lucky that um, I've made some friendship through CAS. Um, we even went out for dinner and, and we supported each other. And I think it's really important when you are doing this work that you know that you're not alone, even though it feels like that because you're studying a field that no one else maybe is at Bangor University during this time, but it's a new experience for everyone who's going through it. So after that, we also conducted a nationwide survey monkey um, just to learn really um, more than anything from the people that were not doing intergenerational work, just to learn why um, and if they had actually heard of it. And then I worked with um, Gwynedd Council Bridging the Generations Coordinator on four local case studies where um, we went in, we looked at the um, case studies and also um, we um, did interviews and um, mo more in-depth analysis for those um, case studies. The issue with um, my research and looking back, I wouldn't have done this, is that I ended up with a lot of themes and a lot of them were going over each other and um, they were just, at times I was feeling like I was staring at this wall with um, a spider web and nothing made sense. But luckily in the, enough, it did make sense somehow in the end. Going forward now, having worked um, in the intergenerational field now since um, 2019 when I completed um, my master's 
to this day, I've been lucky enough to implement a lot of um, what I've learned during my um, master's. And I've also been able to look from a different point of view of what I've found out during my master's regarding the challenges and challenges and obstacles. But one thing I think Kess gave to me that was very beneficial is, as some of you, I don't know if you know me or not, but I was, I've always been a confident person. Um, so Kess hasn't given me that, but what Kess has given me is maybe more confidence in English. Um, I'm from a Welsh background and speaking in Welsh has always come easy to me, speaking in English has not. Um, and Kess has given me the opportunity to gain confidence in speaking in front of large crowds of um, people in English. Um, so one opportunity that I'll always treasure is the fact that I was able to go to a conference in Portland in the United States. I was scared going. I was going alone. I was petrified. I knew two um, going, one researcher from Spain that I had previously met in Glasgow at another conference and another um, lady that worked in intergenerational work in Northern Ireland and she was also going, but both of them were going with other people. So I was going alone and I was petrified, but to this day, I'm so glad that I did it. I've met some key uh, and lead individuals um, within the intergenerational field um, from Australia to Scotland, to Spain, to Mexico. And um, on the 25th of April this year, we're going global for the first time with our intergenerational week that was launched in 2020. And I do believe that attending these conferences has led to making these connections. Um, we're still having conversations um, with our global um, partners, we're still learning from each other, we're still able to share. And I'm really glad that I went to Portland because many of those connections were made um, during that um, visit. One thing Kes has taught me is that going outside your comfort zone is not always a bad thing. At the time, you might want to run the other way and maybe just yeah hide away in another room and everything. But for me, it's been very beneficial. And to this day, just that one example um, in Portland has given me so many opportunities. And um, also, um, it learned, it taught me a lot as well about um, the research world because um, previously I didn't know how to get um, in touch with individuals if I wanted to know more about their work. But um, Mariano always, um, mentioned this to me and he told this to every um, individual, um, his door is always open. So if you need access to any research or to get a hold of someone else within the field, just ask, because if you don't ask, you'll never get it. So following on from 2019, I started working um, in Gwynedd Council full-time as a Bridging the Generations coordinator. I was very fortunate that um, the job opened up four months before I finished my bridging the, gen uh, the masters and um, they allowed me to start it um, at the end of my masters. So I think I was really fortunate in that sense. Um, I've had stories with individuals that have really treasured the projects that they've been involved in and it's such a shame that all of it had to come to an end in March 2020 um, because we were really building momentum with um, great projects ahead in Gwynedd. Um, but that didn't stop us. Um, over Covid um, we've had um, some great projects and the most successful one was our pen pal scheme which had over 140 partners writing backwards and forwards to each other um, across Gwynedd. Um, some of them are still writing back um, and forwards to each other and we're um, currently um, trying to make a reunion or a chance for all of these pen pals um, to get together because they haven't met face to face um, yet because of um, 
COVID restrictions and the fact that a lot are very, very nervous about um, going to an area that's crowded. Um, we've also been um, doing a lot of um, gardening. I know nothing about gardening, but um, we've been doing a lot of gardening. And also we've um, been trying to um, teach children and young adults a lot about ageism and how maybe not everyone has had it as easy as um, the others during COVID. It's not been easy for anyone, but some people, even with restrictions lifting, they are still um, living a very lonely and isolated life. Um, I've been um, working since October um, with a grant of money we were allocated from the Welsh Government, where we've been able to seed fund 66 projects across Gwynedd um, to try and gain the confidence of individuals back out to the community. Um, and yeah, this has been really, really um, successful as we've had been able to get more than um, 2,000 people out and about and um, try and show them that we can um, socialise again in a safe um, possible um, way. And another success story of mine is the intergener uh, intergenerational um, pen pal scheme, which um, some of the quotes we received from um, individuals, um, they just mentioned how lonely they were during the pandemic. And it just showed how even though we can't be together in the same room, it's still possible to make connections. and. Um, the fact that they're still writing to each other shows how much these letters meant to individuals. Um, I had some um, people that were part of the scheme. They were even phoning me every time they received a letter with excitement. Sometimes before I, um, opening the letter, they were like, oh, I've received another letter. And they were really, really excited about it. I'm really grateful for Kess, um, more than anything for um, making my confidence in speaking English in public. Um, it still sounds a bit rusty, but um, I'm getting there. But I think the experience I received with Cass, especially with um, the Portland visit is something I'll treasure forever. But also um, I think the way I look at my job from day to day has changed um, as well since um, doing research. Um, I'm more likely now to make sure that I've got the research, I'm still researching projects or making sure that I collect evidence from um, the projects I do. I've, I've currently got a stack of um, questionnaires that I've just um, been at some events um, with um, trying to collect information because I know how important it is. Yes, you can see the pictures. Yes, you can hear the stories about how good something was to someone, but it is important to have the exact numbers, the exact um, content to support my claims.